I received a phone call that said that I was going to be honored at my high school and they were going to name an award after me. I kind of thought it was a prank call. In the middle of the night, my windshield got smashed. Somebody had keyed um, some homophobic stuff into the side of my car. They keyed the words die fag into the driver's side of his car. They also uh, smashed or busted in a few of his windows as well as slashed all four of his tires. This whole incident um, made me really terrified to be on campus anywhere by myself. I didn't go out after dark. It just makes you feel really unsafe. I heard about Jordan from a counselor at Radford University. Jordan's story had been circulating through faculty email as almost a cry for help. And, and when I heard about it, um, I, I knew I had to help. We gave his entire car in, in a makeover, if you will. We overhauled his car. We painted the entire car, um, put new glass in it, put new tires on it. We had his wheels refurbished and powder coated. For somebody that doesn't even know me, has never met me in my life, doesn't even know what I look like, to offer to do several thousand dollars worth of repairs um, to a, a complete stranger's car was, it just blew my mind. The Ellen Show contacted me just out of the blue one day and they just emailed me, we're from the Ellen Show and we'd like to discuss some things with you. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. Jordan, Richard, it's nice to meet you both. Richard, I have to say, you are the kind of guy who gives everybody hope. To see that you... The Ellen Show has changed my life in so many ways. It has inspired me to continue helping others. I was bullied in high school, and it really had a negative effect on the next few years of my life, because in high school, kids are mean. I didn't really fit in with all the jocks. I liked poetry, I sang in the choir. And, and you really, even though you shouldn't, you care what other people think about you. I want to, to teach young people to, to learn to take negative situations in their daily lives and figure out a way to turn it into a positive one. Pleasure to meet you. What grade are you in? I think it's really great what Richard did for that guy. I mean, to have to know that somebody cares enough to go out of his way to do something nice for somebody else, I think it's just amazing. And then the fact that he came from my school makes it all the more special. Make sure it's that shows that people have that act of kindness in them without even having to know it. So I'm very glad that he's been able to receive this award because he truly deserves it. So we are just real pleased to have the first and nine year old Richard Hanover Jr. Active Kindness Community Award. And from this day forward, every year, we will extend this honor to someone within our community who has demonstrated an act of kindness. Thank you all. Thank you so very much. I can't tell you uh, what an honor it is to be here at my, um, my high school, essentially, in my hometown. Um, I saw an opportunity to take a, um, a young man's car who didn't deserve to be the victim of hate, bullying, bigotry, discrimination. and. Um, I saw the opportunity to help him and I ran with it. And you know, everything else that's happened since then has just been a blessing to say the least. And um, thank you. I want to motivate you know, kids, especially teens, young adults, to learn to love everybody, no matter their race, sexual preference, um, color, size, weight, anything. Um, and, and, and try to teach the world you know, just to get along. He has a really, really big heart and he doesn't like to see people suffer. He is just completely breaks every stereotype you could ever think of. He's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet.